All right, he's off to the races. I'm off to Goodwill. <laughs> All right, we are looking for better items for resale. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It's race day. We're on time. We're on time this time. It is cold though. All right, he's got to go get signed in and uh, away he goes. Now, I wait because they don't open for another 20 minutes. <laughs> it's not enough time to go anywhere else. So, I will sit here and wait in the Goodwill parking lot and be the first one in the door. Okay, they're open. Let's go in. Let's go get us our lucky cart. Oh, they're so pretty first thing in the morning. I'm still a little stuck. This one wants to come too. Does that mean it's going to be a two cart day? Forgot to look. It's green. All right. We are looking for better items for resale. Things we think will sell quickly with a good profit margin. I like this Grasslands Road products. This is like an outdoor plaque. Spring bring, brings joy to every heart and home. Hmm. Now the fact that it's a spring makes me wonder, is this something that somebody would not want to like put in their garden like year round because it says spring? They don't know. I feel like that would bring like 20 to 25. So paying eight, not quite the margin that we would like. This is Capodimonte. Yes, there is the Capodimonte mark on this. Ooh, they are asking $20 on that. Unfortunately, these are really hard to find without some sort of breakage on them. You can see there little pedal damage and getting these to their new home is also difficult because things hang up on these pedals and then they break off really easy so if you do ship one of these don't put bubble wrap directly on these flowers use something like paper tissue paper something to keep the bubble wrap from like sticking and pulling and shipping one of these pieces but at 20 we're gonna leave that Okay, I forget that this Goodwill has a little bit higher prices. They have told me uh, because they are close to the strip, they're close to the airport, that they are pricing for the tourist industry. This is a Sutton's creation made in Japan. He is old. He's got a little bit of like paint wear got a scratch right there mm, a little roughness on his little tail yeah he does have a chip there too yeah he would have had to have been almost perfect for me to pay six dollars so and he is not so we're gonna leave him oh this is old I feel like there's something I guess it's just a chip there I thought maybe there was something missing $3.99, not a bad price, but because of that, I'm gonna leave that one. But I'm gonna look at this one. These are like 1960s. I have sold these before, usually in sets. $4.99, again, not a bad price. But there is some wear and tear, and they don't sell for like a whole lot. So we're gonna leave him, and we're definitely leaving the clowns. I'm sorry, I'm just not a fan of clowns. And that is unfortunate too. Baskets. Is that a gourd or is it pottery? Oh, it really is a gourd. Let's see what else we've got here. 
Look at that cat. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's very lightweight. I thought he was going to be heavier than that. He's cute. He's just... I'm so, I hate telling them that they're not worth picking up, you know. They can be a little sensitive sometimes. No, not really. You know I'm just kidding. I did have somebody leave me a comment <laughs> explaining to me that these things have no feelings. I know. I know. But don't tell them. We know that. Because it might hurt their feelings. Penny and Penny. Stoneware salad and dessert plates by Warren Kimball. This is something I would pick up if it was not. Wait for it. Wait, wait for it. $20. Yep. That's a pass. Now, this monkey is not the same as those monkeys, but they have combined it to get the whole see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil thing going on here. It's kind of funny. We have a precious moments, June. I used to have a huge precious moments collection. This is beautiful. $7.99. Are you $7.99 beautiful? We don't know if it's got a name underneath. I have no fingernails. I have no, I just cut my fingernails. So we can't even see if there's a name under there. I feel like there probably is. $7.99. It's really, really pretty. I think I'm going to pick this one up. I was a little enamored by Mushu and Cricket uh, on the Funko Pop, but again, $30. Woo! And here's a, another Mulan. $30. There's a Star Lord. $30. Okay. Who is doing this pricing? A nice little vintage lion planter. He's kind of cute. Got some chips though. He looks like a cantaloupe. We're going to leave him. Oh, this guy's got a big chip. Okay, so far everything's and he's $5.99. Really, really chipped or really, really expensive or a combination thereof. Made exclusively for somebody. He's just resin though. Just resin. That's half price, but it's not very exciting. All right, well, we'll keep going. We'll keep looking. These are cool. Endless love. $5.99. I feel like these are vintage. Is there an on off? Because that is not playing. This one says Camelot. Okay, is there a trick to get them to play? Is it? Oh, it's a button. Oh. Oh. Oh, they do play. Okay. Just had to, uh, know the on off button and this one back here plays you light up my life you know what i'm gonna look up and see if these have any value all right we got us a score these are highly collectible and we have three with three different tunes but one very very easy listing they are 7.99 each they're in the cart. Now they're playing in my cart because I didn't turn one of them off. Okay, what kind of birdies go in this? I feel like I want to attract the birdie that goes in this, but I don't know if I have any birdies in my yard small enough to go in this. I like that the top opens up and it's got a liner so it can be cleaned out. $5.99. It does have a hanger. I think, I think I'm going to get this one. And I think I'm going to get this one because I want to put up more birdhouses in the yard. Oh, they're bells. Little bells. Little Santa Cruz souvenir. 
is getting over here to this Madonna and Child. It is a San Miro Japan. It is vintage and it is only $3.99. See, now I like that pricing. She's lovely. I am going to get her. It just shows you even when some of the pricing is a little high, you can still find treasures. Just got to dig a little deeper. A little made in Japan train. It's only two dollars because he is half price. What's wrong with him? It's got a little chip there. But I feel like yeah, I got a little chip there too. All right, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna leave him and I'm gonna look at this glass hanging sun catcher pendant for $2.99 and put that in the cart. I pulled this plate out. This is all hand painted and it is by Jay Greerwald. It's the artist, but it is a Limoges plate for $5.99. You know what? Let's grab that. Oh, this chicken is pretty amazing. It's $4.99. Got one little, tiny little ding right there. The rest of it looks really good. So, we're going to pick him up too. I see the elephants. I'll look at those elephants. As soon as I see what's in this box. Oh, it's little miniature porcelain plates and a vase. Those are really sweet. Hmm. I don't don't think they have the value for me to pay $5.99 though. And these, the bases are pretty chipped up. Oh, and they are $10 each. They came from Home Goods. Nothing too spectacular there. Once upon a time what lights up what, what I guess is it like for a little miniature nativity maybe oh my gosh look at the frog what are they frog princes oh you know what does that go with that is it like a, a story thing tiny treasures it was 15, wherever it came from. Hmm, for decorative use only. It's very fairy garden-esque. I love it. I love it. What is this? Oh, it's a rose in there. Little acrylic encased rose. Mulberry. Nice size bowls. I must say. Look at these candle holders. I like these. They are $4 each. So we're looking at $8 for the pair. They probably sell in the 15 to 20 range. So eight is really stretching the margin a little tighter than I'm comfortable with, but those are really cool. This one's kind of beautiful too. This is crystal, looks like Mikasa, is it? Made in Poland, no, it's not. Oh, they want 15. They thought it was beautiful too. How about a glassy baby? That would be a really fun thing to find right about now. Glassy babies are a very, very high-end, highly collectible candle holder made of recycled glass. They don't end up on the shelves very often, but if they do, you want to snag them because they sell sometimes for hundreds of dollars. Let's see what they got going in their little holiday section. Got a little painted ornament. It's a pure one. It says 2016 greetings. Okay. very picky about the Christmas that I pick up. You have a limited amount of time to sell it before you will be storing it again. 
but I do look for things to use in my little project pieces. Ooh, like these. Don't be too much. $2.99. We'll take them. What are these? They're a whole bunch of little snow globes. Oh, I bet they're like the 12 days of Christmas snow globes. That's what those are. String lights that are little cuts. Um, not what we're looking for. Mm. Oh, more Funko Pops. I bet they're all 20 or $30. 25 25 on these. 25 Yep. Oh, boy. I think they're going to be here a while. I think we're going to go head over and look at the jewelry before it gets too busy. Let's see what we've got. Anything exciting? Oop. I'm going to grab that little tiger's eye. I sell every piece of tiger's eye that I get. And those earrings are fun. They're only $2 because they're half price. I like those. Let's see what else we need to pull out and look at. That's kind of an interesting look. Got to see what it feels like. It could just be a paparazzi jewelry piece. Boy, there's a lot of that out there. Because I think a lot of people bought the paparazzi jewelry when it was a thing. I mean, I'm sure people are still buying it. Uh, but there was a there was a phase where uh, when it first popped on the scene, it was like, oof, bought so much. Okay, there's a couple bracelets back there. I think those are like a faux turquoise. But we will look. And then there's a little dolphin with abalone that we're going to pull out and look at. Oh, those are so delight. We'll look at those for two dollars. Do like the watermelons. Uh, okay, let me see if I can get some things pulled out. Okay, I got a few pieces. We've got necklaces, dollar ninety nine. Was this one? Oh, that's five. I am paying five ninety nine for this because it is vintage and it shells and it's really cool. This one's half price five dollars this one's all little stones that one is 3.99 of course i have to get the little abalone dolphin for dollar 99. these are actually stone which i thought was really cool and it's 3.99 got a little leopard oh he does not want to focus there we go a little leopard for 3.99 is he three nope he's half price he's two bucks this is Chico's, and I really just like the styling of Chico's, some of their things. It's two bucks. You know I'm getting that. Uh, this is a little, what do they call this, a serpentine chain? I just sold one of these the other night. So for $2, I'm going to get another one. $2 on the tiger eye and pins. I think that's a goofy bird. Uh, some earrings for Jordan. Another little vintage pin. The Soda Light earrings. Rhinestone butterfly. And fun dangly earrings. So nice little jewelry score. Okay. Jewelry baggie, jewelry jar. Do I get the baggie? Do I get the jar? Or do I get them both? I feel like I'm going to get them both. Well, that was a fun little detour. I haven't found that much jewelry at one store in a while. That's fun. But do you see what's wrong with it? It's got a little leaning tower of Pisa kind of thing going here. And it is not anything special. It is probably just a Chinese made glass, mass marketed glass. This is actually flint glass I do believe <gasps> oh I may actually have a lid from my deer and dog collection that would fit on this so I'm going to grab it look at these handsome fellas $7.99 you do look like you might have a little age on you you're not super old but you're not super new you did come from Ross 
But how long has Ross been open? I feel like Ross has been open a long time. Like, I'm thinking these are, like, from the early 2000s, like, which is vintage. Um, so he's $4.99 and he's $7.99. What I'll do is ask him if they can adjust that price to this one. But I, I really like these guys. I'm going to grab them. I just noticed he's got a big boo-boo. So I guess we're just going to get the one that's uh, marked at $4.99. Cute little Route 66. Little souvenir planter, I'm sure. This has a 90s look to it. Kind of classic 90s lines. Not worth a whole ton. That's a pretty... That's a pretty vase made in where? What? Made in somewhere. Germany. This is made in Germany. $4.99. That is just a nice, pretty, simple vase for $4.99. I like it. So I have this set in a teal blue. And this is purple. And then it also comes with this fancy little... Uh, fake plant which I'm a little enamored with and it's recycled glass handmade in Spain for $5.99 I think we're gonna grab that too and we have clear glass of course would not be a complete shopping trip without some clear glass vases Ooh, what is this this stuff is not cheap I know because I have purchased some before $12.99 is what they have on it, so they know it's not cheap, but that's a cool, that's a cool find. Somebody will be delighted to find that. I just don't have a need for it right now, or I might be grabbing it. I'm trying to like, if I didn't come here like with the, like looking for a specific thing, I try not to buy it just on impulse, you know, like a fern that I can't grow a fern, but I could have a fake fern. And I have a spot where I have to put some big, beautiful, fake plantery. I think I'm gonna grab these. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. I grabbed them all. Well, that's an interesting decorative piece. I'm sure, it's like a home goods, $14.99. Very, very interesting. Are these soap? Avon 1982. Pretty sure it's soap. Yep, decal soaps. Gosh, who remembers those? Goodness. Oh, that's a nice little succulent terrarium kind of a thing for $3.99. I think I'll grab that too. All right, this is kind of a nice time to come to this Goodwill. Ooh, how much were these? I think these were like at Michael's. There's no price to say what they were at Michael's. They are a buck now. Just thinking at the store what I could use these for, little markers of some kind. They're kind of cute. Again, though, I didn't, I didn't come here with a need for that, so I need to... Uh, walk away from those and keep calm and blame the dog. How wonderful life is now. You're in the world. There's a there's a word missing. There's a word missing. It's just how light how wonderful life is now that you're in the world. Hmm. Did they just decide nobody would notice if they ran out of space? What is this? Electric bread warmer. I guess it's missing a few parts and pieces, but that's teak. That's what drew me to that piece. You could still do something and make something out of that, couldn't you? Couldn't you? How much is it? Oh, it's still 10 bucks. Nope. Gotta leave it, but ooh. That, yeah, would have still been cool to uh, make a thing. Coca Pellies on a box. Let's see if I can get it open. It's just a box with Coca Pellies for four dollars. Came from Bed Bath and Beyond. 
it's coming apart right there. All right, oh yes, oh yes. Give me a P. You thought I was gonna forget, didn't you? Or you were hoping I was gonna forget. There's two camps to that. <laughs> what is, oh, I saw the I saw the eyes and I wasn't quite sure what uh, that was. 1982, trivet. Okay, he's an odd little duck have some elephants and a little elephant family here. $7.99 for this one. And then, oh, you're lightweight, $12.99. Got a little Rottweiler, $1.99. We will leave those. Oh, look at that. That's, uh, an interesting way to just mount and display a piece of glass. Now, this is one of those, it does say made in Italy. I don't know if you can make it out. It's pretty faded. But I think it's that Lavorazano, la da 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 da, uh, Murano. It's kind of cool. It's actually a really cool piece of glass, but it's so cheaply put together. I think somebody did this like aftermarket or something I don't know I just can't pay $15 for that piece but it's it's very interesting oh it's got some nice detail to it let's see I believe that is Hebrew yes does this have something to do with a Seder I hope I'm saying that right the dent is what's going to keep me from buying this. It's pretty dented, but it's a beautiful piece. And that's teak and vintage. But again, it's not for me. It's just not for me. Some pretty glassware. Champagne flutes. Do you have a name? No name. And they're not very well made you can see kind of waves and bubbles it has a very fenton look to it it says something under there i'm gonna peel that stand by apparently pioneer woman is trying to look like fenton now huh who knew okay there you will stay lots of really nice glassware oh these are uh Mikasa Cheers, but there's only three. But then there's the these fluted ones here that are only a dollar each. And I do really well selling these. It's one of the few glassware things that I consistently, consistently sell. So for a buck a piece, we're gonna pick up these four. Just a quick peek to make sure that one other wine glass isn't here somewhere oh wait is that another one of these i don't want five though nope it's different okay it's different phew no decisions to be made there coke glasses there's lots of coke glasses out there on the market tough to get good prices on those and that's it's something pretty rare. All right, coffee mugs. Nothing super calling to me. Who makes this one though? Pensacola, Florida. Signed piece. Oh, got a big chip too. All right. Noah just texted me. He made group A back of the field the group a and that makes him very happy i'm sure he's going to leave a comment up here and explain what that group a group b thing is but basically group a is the top half of the competitors group b would be the bottom half in their qualifying rounds 
And so group A means that he is uh, qualifying ahead of more than half of the participant par participants in the race. And something about he gets more points if he's competing in group A. So there you go. He doesn't need to explain it. I just explained it. Let's see what we've got over in there. Kitchen items. Hmm. No excitement yet. That's cute. Little bubblegum canister. Oh, came from Hobby Lobby. This is an old piece of glass. It's just not a very valuable piece of glass. Oh, no excitement over here. Still feel like I need to get Noah one of these. But I'm probably going to get a new one. Not going to get an old one. Oh, sprouting jar kit. So, again, I'm looking for things for Jordan. Because um, she's not easy to buy for. I think this is for, like, growing your own sprouts, not for a planting thing. It is. And I don't know if she does sprouts. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like that I probably shouldn't risk. I'll find out, like, for next time I find a sprouting thing. This time, I'm going to pass on it. <gasps> a butter cutter? Ooh. Ooh. We use a lot of stick butter. This seems like, though, it, it would be, like, messy. Like, you'd have to clean it out so much that it just wouldn't be worth it. It's just better get out a knife and just slice it. That's my thought. That's my thought on that. Let me know what you think. So cooking, cooking things that don't look very exciting. Small appliances. Purple coffee maker. Uh, okay, nothing here for us. I don't do much with cards, but how cute is he? Is there a whole bunch of turtle cards in here? Trying to see, I think. There's a whole bunch of animal. Oh, there's a whole bunch of him in here. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I need I need the, uh, the tortoise wearing the uh, tennis shoes. We got a kick out of Florida. It's kind of cute. Bathroom stuff. It's nice to see the shelves all nice and neat first thing in the morning. They won't stay that way. I'm quite certain. What I'm hoping is they bring out a cart of stuff while I'm here. That would be fun. Jungle Magic Painting Book. Why does that look like fun? Is it like paint by water? Dip the brush into water, then brush across. Yeah, we just used to call that um, paint by water, not magic. But how fun is that? All right, get away from the coloring books, Danny. Yeah, we're in their household and pet section. That's a really cool harness. Oh, is it broken? Oh, that's a bummer. I like the ones like with a handle, like for a small dog, because if you need to get them out of harm's way, like really, really fast, you just pick them up. Um, but that's broken. I, I was going to buy that for Peanut. And now it makes me want to go find one for Peanut, just like that. I get inspired sometimes by things that I find at the thrift store and then I want to like go home and go find one to order. Anybody else do that? Or is that just me? All right, I don't see anything else here that we need. Definitely don't need a bowling ball. All right, let's go check out some art. Okay, looking through the small art, I kind of stand back, see what kind of calls to me, what looks like it might be interesting. Like, this is interesting, oh, just because it looks like something old was put in this frame. It's like an old wood trivet. I mean, it's, it's pretty. Six bucks? I don't know. I just don't know how 
resaleable that is for my market. And that's the thing you have to remember. Everybody develops their own niche, their own market. That's why I'm the niche lady. I have my niche. You have your niche if you're a reseller. We don't all sell the same things. Can you imagine how boring it would be? If we all sold the same things, that, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. So it's good. It's good that we all have different customer desires. Carol Griggs is actually a desirable artist. I'm going to do a little research on this one. It comes from the Gan Ganyo Gallery, it looks like. I don't see a price on it yet, but let me look up what it's worth before I mess with getting it down from there. Okay, it's $14.99. This is worth minimum 50 bucks possibly as high as 200. I'll have to dig in a little bit more to the specifics of this gallery, but Carol Grigg is very, very desirable still. Oh my goodness, this bedroom set kind of brings back memories. I had one very, very similar when I was little, that old uh, French provincial. There's a pillow here, caught my eye. It's very vintage, very old. It's a little faded. Four bucks. I like it just for that little applique on butterfly there, but we're gonna leave it. All right, look at this fun, quirky purse I found. Yes, it's a purse. I feel like somebody maybe handmade this. It's super clean. It's made from a Roxy Girl jeans skirt. It's really kind of adorable for $5.99. I'm gonna grab it. This one's intriguing too. It is suede and leather, but I don't think it's very good quality leather. And the rolling of the handles is not, it's not great, great, but I, there's something really appealing about it. It is again, only $5.99. It's in pretty good condition too. It's clean. Oh, sorry about that. It is clean inside. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that one too. Okay, now here's another one. This one is made out of, this one is made out of a little shirt. So, oh, and I see another one over there. So somebody did make these. I don't like this one. Oh, here's another one. This one is made out of a suede skirt with some camo handles. All right, these are just, these are fun. Oops, come off of there. These are fun. Okay, this one's $7.99. I'm gonna grab that one too. And then let's uh, go over here and let's see, $5.99. That one doesn't have a name, but it is a vintage skirt made into a purse. So we're gonna grab that one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. $7.99, yes. And no, I did not miss the boho macrame purse for $4.99. Look at that. I wonder if these just came from the same place. You know, somebody who did like craft fairs or something and this was their stock that they let go of. But yes, that one's coming with me too. This one caught my eye too because of the color and it has a really nice look. And then I open it up to find it is made in Israel for Valerie accessories. Super clean, super beautiful, nice purse for $4.99. We're grabbing that one too. All right, we're going to skim through the Halloween, but Noah just informed me that he is almost done and I need to go back and pick him up and bring coffee because he is freezing. We just had this huge cold spell set in and uh, of course it was race day. So we'll check in and see how he did in just a moment. But before then, stay tuned for the recap where I tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. Wait, how did you do? You'll have to, you'll have to watch my channel for that. No, you gotta tell your mom. No, you gotta watch the channel for that. Oh man. Do you have do you have a medal? No. Oh. No medal. Okay. No, no trophy today. But you're happy. But I'm happy. Okay. It was a really, really good race. Alright, well it'll all be over on Noah's channel. He's the purple goose. I'll link it down below. Y'all better now? Nice and warm? Maybe. Hot coffee? Nummy nummy?